I know one of the things that surprised me in this study is a lot of times we talk about the length of the anesthetic procedure, and that actually did not seem to be, at least in this study, associated with the hypotension risk, but there were some other factors in here, like the breed of dog, the size of dog, um, but I think it is great information for us to go into an anesthetic procedure being aware of what our risks are so we can help kind of mitigate the risks as much as possible by using different monitoring techniques or whatever we can do in the clinic to reduce those risks. I was surprised as well that the length of surgery wasn't a factor, but instead that most incidents occurred during the first 30 minutes. And that's not to say we can get complacent after 30 minutes. You know, if my patient's been fine up until now, they'll, they'll continue to be fine. Um, but I, I will admit that my own personal nervous system tends to get amped the longer that my patient is under anesthesia. So maybe one of the take home points from this article is that there is no reason for extra vigilance for those patients, but instead just a nice steady, reasonable vigilance for the whole procedure. No need for our own hypertension as we watch for hypertension.